Oh, it's chaos draft time, everybody. I got me and Bobby Butters over here. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that means. When he sat down, I was like, oh, look who it is. And he's like, Bobby Butters. And I was like, oh, is that your name? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. There you go. Oh, happy birthday, Mike. I didn't even say anything, man. <laughs> no, I know you didn't. <laughs> you no longer have to. Oh, I love it when the meme takes on a life of its own. That's That's where you want to be, really. You guys can slap Mike's birthday at 3,700 miles an hour if you wanna, if you wanna heat it real fast. Happy birthday, Bobby Butter! <laughs> That's a lot of bees. Three bees for Mike B. It's Bobby Butters to you. Okay. okay. <laughs> My mistake, Bobby. Oh damn it, Bobby! Oh, I just spilled a bunch of pills. Oh, we got this silica packet. You wanna eat this? No. It's called a pillow pack. Contains a harmless absorbent for humidity and odor. Do not eat. Oh, well, I almost killed you. It's harmless, though, so... Why well, say harmless and don't eat? I feel like it's one or the other, right? I'm taking some Hydro Eyes. Support for dry eyes. I don't have dry eyes, but it was preventative from after the LASIK. You guys probably know this because you've been here before. Oh, what do we got here? Mirror? Get out of here. What? I put the pills on my coaster, and then when I put, went to my drink down, the pills were there, and I was like... Man, whose fault is that? It's, it was mine. Hmm. What does this thing do? Affinity for artifacts. When it enters the end of the battlefield, if you cast it, excel artifacts. Okay, well... This card's weird, because it's like, hey, you should have a lot of artifacts to make it cheaper. And then you cast it, and you're like, hey, we just got rid of all your artifacts. Yeah, I'm not, not, not so on that pick. And it's like a 5-5 five five for, for like a million, so like it's not even, like it doesn't have trample, it's not even a 6-6, six six. like, what are you doing with your life? Mirrodin's weird because it's a bunch of cards that have artifact synergies, but Echoing Decay is pretty good. Morningstar is pretty good. Actually, Morningstar might be the pick. Plus two, plus two is pretty strong. Is this is a commander card? You play this in commander a lot? You could. <laughs> you can play any card in commander. Alright, well, I took it. <clears throat> oh, you want to take this this king crab? Uh, six mana for a four or five. Put target green creature on top of his owner's library. That's actually not terrible. I mean, it could be good in certain. I spots. wanted to, yeah, I wanted to laugh at it, but like if they play any creature, you just lock. Didn't you just lock them out of the game? I guess they just don't play it. They're just like, I don't replay it again. But that's still that's also pretty bad. And a four or five for six, not not terrible stats. I don't know what a lot of these cards do. Tend to creature can't attack. Okay, so that's removal, basically. When this is put into a graveyard, it returns to its owner's hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. It deals two damage to target. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Let's take the King Crab. It's a blue card, so I'm, I'm game. Hmm. You don't like it? It's okay. What do you like better? I like the, uh, the white card. This... This locks them out of the game, man. Yeah, we discussed how it doesn't lock them out of the game. Though. I discussed how it does, and you you discussed your own Bobby Butters life. I think your end step, if you control exactly one creature, create a five five demon with flying. I actually kind of like that. And then there's also the other the other mono card, mono creature card. If you control at least exactly one creature, that creature gets plus three plus one and has life link. Kind of a nombo here because if you have one creature, this is going to give you a second creature. And then it's going to turn off your homicidal seclusion. Well, good thing we don't have to pick two cards out of this pack then, huh? I always worry about Mike going into uh, homicidal seclusion. What does that even mean? I don't know. You tell me. You're the like you kill yourself? That's, no, that would be suicidal seclusion, right? All right. I think it's just Demonic Rising. This card's pretty good if we can get one creature. And we can build around it. Oh, a wizard's retort? Hmm, this guy's good, but I don't think we'd have any wizards. Like... Yeah, I think it's just like the counterspell. There's also a land elf, which is pretty powerful. Yeah, but we already have black and blue cards. I don't think we're super committed yet. I'm committed to King Crab. How dare you? Hmm. Yeah, get wrecked. God, he got so wrecked. 
The Bobby Waters Black Draft. Jesus, what are you doing there? Seeing if that crack was lethal. <laughs> Choose a creature type other than wall. Target creature becomes that type until end of turn. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, great. When this enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards you like. Put all Merfolk cards revealed this way. Okay, so this is just a uh, a Goblin Ringmaster for. Wow, that's loud. A Goblin Ringmaster for Merfolks for Murphys. Okay, we'll do that. A Merfolk Ringmaster, if you will. All right, we don't have access to either of those. As initial cost, sacrifice a creature, target player in their hand, and discards all cards of each of the sacrifice creatures' colors. That's terrible. So if I have a green creature, I'm like, you got to discard all your green cards. Well, I'm not even playing green. This pack is hot farts. Isn't Goblin Legionnaire pretty good? Yeah, if you're red-white. I mean, I guess it's just Legionnaire. This pack is really bad. All right. <clears throat> Sacrifice this. Return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that are put there from the battlefield this turn. Oh, God. Target creature gets plus two and gains fear. Oh, God. For three mana... My god. You don't even regenerate him or anything? Destroy an enchantment. It's rune of protection. The next time a blue source of your choice to deal damage to you this turn. This is just circle of protection, but you can cycle it. It's actually not terrible. I kind of like that. Yeah, but it's a white card. Yeah, but there's no... Like, we're not taking either of these, so we're taking something off color. Right? No, man. Let's breach. Really? No. Okay. I don't care about either of these. I'm just going to take the rune. This pack is... These these packs have not been great. I don't hate a coercion in this format, I guess. Okay, how do you feel about 2-2 two, two that can't block? For 2 mana? Yeah. That's pretty decent. How do you feel about gain 4 life? That's really bad. How about 4 mana for creatures you control gain plus 0 plus 5? Nope. Okay. Uh, two one for three that you can pay two life to regenerate. It's okay. Uh, one one flying goblin that can't block for two. Yikes! I want to take this coercion. Oh, and, oh, a frantic search. That seems really good. Probably better than Aquamiba, right? I suppose so. <laughs> I suppose so. What is the, What's the what card in this pack gives us the Bobby Butter seal of approval? I kind of like Aquamiba. Over Frantic Search? Yeah. You, you never draw he two attack before? and he protect. Hmm. All right, man. I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. We're definitely online. So you're probably definitely bugged. What up, Badger? Access to nine. Good seeing you guys. I got you this. You can put Thank in your you. drink. It's a little... Think of it as Splenda. Man, I was really hoping the echoing... Oh, God. What if someone... Oh, God. I was really hoping the echoing truth came back. Or the echoing... The black one. Echo, echoing not truth? Echoing black card. Terror creature goes plus one, plus O oh, until I'm turned for each artifact. So this is going to be plus zero, plus O. Oh. A great rate. None of these cards are any good. I'm just going to take the echoing calm. In case we're like three colors here. Oh, face is itching. Uh, cessation is actually pretty good and still here, right? It's not giant cockroach or plague beetle. We're not taking one of the bugs in this pack. Other enchantments have at the beginning of your upkeep second. No, we're just going to take cessation. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're only one of these two colors. Three colors. And it's battlefield to gain three. All right. Gains flying for all damage that we dealt to that creature this turn. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. It's not great, but none of those cards were great, so. Now we can just be red-white. Furl Abomination. Plus two, plus one, and it has Menace. And whenever it attacks alone, put a lore counter on a, on a Soggy Control. I'll just take the Frenzy Rage. Maybe we are just red-white. Look at this red-white deck we have in the sideboard over here. Okay, sure. Maybe we're just guy. Because if we're just guy, we get to use this to give a creature flying. Oh, cool planes. I don't think we're really that blue. We're very blue, you can see, because we have king crab. Look at this beautiful crab. Is there a reason that you are the way you are? Do you know what it is? Because the king crab hurt me once. 
broke my heart. Just once? Mm-hmm. What's our pick here? Uh, what's that rare do again? Nothing good. <laughs> Tap X artifacts you control. Look at the top X cards of your library for one into your hand and the rest on the bottom. Hmm. Efficient. It's not. None of these energy cards are going to be good either because we don't have... Just taking a gate. Those four damage target creature, tap target land. Yeah, I think it's actually Shauna's Revolution here. Wait. Yeah, this card's just great, right? Four damage. Hmm. King Crab is the nut. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> what? What? What's the matter? It's a six mana four or five. It's not the nut. It puts a, a green creature back on top of their deck, my dude. Oh, this card is insane. Gleam of Battle is actually nuts. That seems all right. Yeah, I'm just taking the Gleam of Battle. Turn Turn Burn is very good too. But I mean, this goes with our King Crab, so we're just gonna be King Crab twenty twenty. <laughs> He's the hero we need, guys. I don't know why you guys... Uh... Maybe it's just Mike. I think Mike is the only one that's not on board with the King Crab. No, because I think our red-white deck is much better. Whoa, that is way too big. Oh, God, come on. There you go. He's the hero the stream needs. He's a something, all right. He is a something, all right, isn't he? Uh, survive the night? Mm, not terrible. Stitch Mangler? Not terrible. I think we're splashing red. We're blue-white splash red. That's what we're doing right now. I don't hate catalog either. I'm gonna take the Stitch Mangler. We want creatures in our creature deck. Knight of the Mist, two two flanking for three. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay a blue. If you don't destroy a knight, it can't be regenerated. So the thing about this is, back in the day, uh, this is a creature that when it came into play, if you didn't pay the extra blue and you had the only knight, you just had to kill your own Knight of the Mists. It was <laughs> really terrible. I mean, it wasn't terrible because there were knights being played back then, but. Um, yeah, so if there's no other knights in the battlefield, you just gotta pay four for this guy. This is a really off color. Like, blue, this is not a blue effect. You just get to destroy a knight for three mana. Good talk. Hmm. 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 All creatures of flying able to block the Tower Room Piper do so. Yeah, this guy's just like, he's just, he's just really, uh,. Just, just calling those. It in. Yeah, he's just piping it. <laughs> you know, piping it in. That's what uh, that's what he's doing. As long as this guy's a plus one plus one counter and has flying, and we have a gleam ability, put plus, plus one plus one counters. That's pretty good. Um. Otherwise, it's a three banana two. Oh, this guy also goes to the counter thing. All right, all right. Could be anticipated. I think it's just a two one. Yeah. I'm going. I'm I'm down. Oh, time stop is pretty sweet. In the turn. Oh, I like that a lot. You want me to take Evolving Walls over over Lightwalker? I mean, that's probably better, but I don't care. I'm taking Time Stop here. Almost as good as King Crab. Yeah, but let's not go crazy. Happy birthday, Mike. The city of Minneapolis has given you six to nine inches of snow for your present. Happy birthday, buddy. Hmm. Oh, Mammoth Umber seems great. Yeah, Umbers are good. This is a good one, too. All the plus three, plus three Umbers are pretty good. All right, we're going to put the Rune in the sideboard, and we're also going to put Echoing Column in the sideboard. This is going to be our... This is going to be our life now. When it enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Nobody cares about that. 
Oh, this is just a 2-2 two, two for 3 that multi-kicks, so it's a 3-3 three, three for 5 or a 4-4 four, four for 7. It's expensive. But it's still a dude. Or we could take the Dispel. I think it's probably Enclave Elite. Yeah, it seems okay. Like, we only have 9 creatures so far. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Bobby Butters versus King Crab. One night only. Wow. Well, who would win, do you think? Me. <laughs> Me. What if I you're... Just, I just step on him. What if you're a green creature, though? I'll just put you back on top of your your owner's library. I'm clearly not a green creature. Oh, I like a metallic rebuke. The rebuke, the rebuck stops here. That's not very good. The rebuck. I don't like. I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, is it clue stone? Seems good. That'll help us cast our our ready our ready boys. Our ready spaghetti yeah, I don't boys. Care about that. Our ready to ready spaghetti boys. Can we get some madness cards for our Amoeba? There's no way Mike is not green. <laughs> That's I'm probably accurate. blue because I'm slow. Yeah, we'll just take survive the night. What'd you say? So I'm clearly blue because I'm slow. Is that the Bobby Butters official opinion? Mm-hmm. Can you scroll down a little bit? What? Saw a picture of a cat. <laughs> Saw a picture of a cat. You can cast this as though it had flash. Uh, creatures get plus O plus one. Hmm. It's actually not terrible. It's basically the necromancy, the the white necromancy. Whereas, like, you can cast that as an instant, but then it gets it goes away at the end of the turn. <clears throat> look at this old. Look at this five one with hexproof, and then there's a one six. Wow. Look at this zombie turtle. He ain't hurting anybody. He's just trying to live his best life. But he's a zombie, so he's trying to eat your brains. Oh my god, last pick, think twice? Not bad. That's really sweet. Wow. That's how you can tell you're in a draft pod with people who have no respect. Look at him. Look at him judging. Only nine more subs? Only nine more subs? Oh, a Tezzeret the Seeker, huh? Well, in our zero... We have two artifacts, I guess. Eh, it's pretty good. Pretty, no. pretty... No. pretty okay. How about Oblivion Ring? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Is... <coughs> 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 oh, you're welcome for the thing twice. Are you in this pool check? I'm gonna take this oblivion ring for obvious reasons. Are you hanky? <laughs> I laughed at that name. Why is my nose itching? I don't like it. Yeah, well, I just had a sneeze that didn't happen. This is much worse. That is actually worse. Good luck getting that out of your life. Cause the night on the in the night. All right, so. <clears throat> This card's very, very good. So is Exclusion Mage. I don't know if we have the creatures for Angel of Dawn. I kind of just like Exclusion Mage here. I always like a bouncy boy. I do like a bouncy boy. Pick that secret jellyfish? Was there a secret jellyfish? Apparently. It's very secretive, though. The 
Alright. Whenever a permanent is turned face up, you may draw a card. Wow. Look at this weird art. That's a very specific effect. That's a very specific effect. Oh, here's another one. Return a bird you control to its owner's hand. That's how you unmorph this. Wow. Hmm. Oh, crying out loud. Whenever a permanent is turned face up, put a 1-1 counter on it. Okay. Flying Pro Dragons. I mean, this is just a 3-3 flyer for 5. Which is fine. Pro Dragons could be good, but I have my doubts. Either way, I'm just going to take it. I was at 4 OP at 20. They conceded game 2 for the match of to Frilled Mystic. Oh, Ma Frilled Mystic is a... That's a powerful magic card. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, return an enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Mm. Nope. Why nope? We oh, got, you have some. We got cessation. We got a bunch of enchantments. I mean, they're not going to go to the graveyard necessarily, but... Oh, you have frenzied, frenzied Rage, too? Okay, nose. That's it. We're done. Um, <clears throat> deals five damage to an attacker or blocker. It's probably Sandblast, actually. Yeah, that seems good. Five damage is a lot. You ever been dealt five damage before? Yeah, it hurt. You'd probably die. <laughs> yeah, it hurt. <laughs> oh, I like Refuge. That's actually nice. That's some fixing right there. He even gained you a whole life. Yeah, we, we've we got it made. Made in the shade. Drinking lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> Frontal damage that we dealt two and dealt by enchanted creature. So it makes it nothing. It's just a yeah. It's like a fog. It's a gaseous a gaseous form. Target creature can shroud until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. That's actually pretty okay. Thank you. What's happening right now? Oh, the third tail with the ten gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna lower this volume. Get a little loud here. Uh, when it dies, each player sacrifices a land. Thank you. Unattach this parental account. I'm just going to take the Heart of Light. Uh, Thank you. One, four, for three. As long as you have five or less life, other creatures you control gain plus one, plus four. This is actually fine for a blocker. Thank I don't you. Think, all right. I don't know if this is making the cut. I almost don't even want to play the red. Like, it's really good, but... Thank you. Whatever. Thank you. Oh, and Badger gifting 10 more subs, because why not? Because <laughs> why not? Thank you guys so much. You guys thank are amazing. You. Badger and Third uh, third Tail, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to take this Temporal Isolation. That's a good one. We just have all the, uh, the can't attack effects. Um, thank you. This card's actually not bad. 04 blocks a lot, and then having Exalted is pretty sweet. Thank you. What was that noise? What did you just do? That was water. <laughs> that was water. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. God, I got bit by a mosquito when I was taking Hunter out today. It is not fun. Thank you. It's like never-ending thank yous. It is. It's a, it's a never-ending stream of thank yous. Thank you. I don't know what to take here. Daybreak Chaplain? Yeah, it's Daybreak Chaplain. That's fine. We may play it, but sure. Thank you. We can return a bird to our hand. This oh, is actually kind of sick because we can play this, and then if they try to kill it, we can bounce it to unmorph this. Thank now we got some. Now we got some combos. All right. Well, we have now we have now achieved the 15-hour stream. No snap. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you now. 15 whole hours? That's right, buddy. Thank you. When will that even start? Probably around noon to 3 a.m. Oh, God, that's such a long time. <laughs> that's Thank so you. long, dude. Uh, Well, it's like 85 degrees outside, so that's usually where the mosquitoes come Thank from. You. They don't really care about your weather. They don't care about your temperatures. Uh, room three, and you get... No, I'll take it because we need a card, but... 
So they can actually, actually we have no real reason not to splash the Gleam because it's very good. I don't think Frenzy Rage is worth really. Mm, you know what? Whatever. I think the thank yous have subsided. Badger and Third Tail, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. I would prefer Mosquito over the 20 degree tempo out with the possibility of. Ah, oh, you say that until you get bit by one mosquito and then you're like, I'm out. Don't we have another like effect like that on the sideboard? Effect like what? Mosquito? No, the can be can deal damage effect. Oh yeah, we have uh this one. But the problem with this one is that it still has some block. That's fine. What just happened? A grand student, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Alright, so I like all these. I like our two things here. We have to make three cuts. I actually like our deck a lot. I think we just cut the red. I'm going to cut the Goblin Legionnaire. I think we're keeping this because we have is a clue stone. I don't think it's really hard to splash. And it's very strong. We have two more cuts. It's definitely going to cut a three drop. I think they're pretty neat. No way, you're crazy. You probably got the the night guy. Why? Because he's like a four mana two two. You're a four mana two two. And just play sixteen lands. I really don't want to play sixteen lands here. Why not? Why not? That curve pretty much stops the three. And we actually have a ton of rule. I could probably take out the cessation. Like we have Oblivion Ring, Sand Blast. Exclusion Mage bounces a guy. Metallic Rebuke to counter. Wizards retorts to counter. Temporal Isolation. Like, it's a good amount of things. Alright, we'll add this. We'll add like two mountains. And this is 882. That seems good. It's also three, uh, three red sources. It seems good enough. I'm okay with it. <sighs> we can take out the bad cards. Yeah, the deck seems good. I like it a lot. We have a lot of uh, really powerful, really powerful gentlemen and ladies. I'm a big fan of pizza on the couch. Oh, this hand is terrible. You don't like this hand? No. Got him. You kept this hand? We'll win. You have one playable. We have all our colors, though. Look, here's a playable. Got it. Nailed it. <sighs> this guy's going to go the distance. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. <sighs> oh, that's a that's a big boy. Where were you last turn? Well, Is that a 4 3? Yeah. No blocks. Oh no, don't do that. <coughs> Man, our opponent's got like big boys dot deck over here. Big stupid green creatures. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, definitely big stupid green creatures over here. I think his cards are too efficient. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I get a five, five. I guess that's probably better than temporal this turn. One, two, three. Yeah, they can't actually. Cool. You know what? Maybe we draw Wrath of God. Yeah, maybe. We didn't. That was with a shot. Man, I'm not throwing away my shot. Um, do we bring in Echoing Calm? 
Probably. We saw at least one car that, that it deals with. We have a lot of removal on our deck, and also a lot of blockers. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know why we lost that game. That was really weird. Hmm. <laughs> That's really strange. I wonder what it was. Wait, what's that What's that knight? That 2-2? Two -two? Is that a knight? Steward of Valoran, I think it's called. John Stewart of Valoran. Is it a knight? Yes! Oh, we're bringing in Knight of the Mist for sure. Oh, yeah. That guy's dead. I'm going to totally bop that dude. Come on. Come on. One time. Let's happen one time. What do we need to cut? We need to cut one thing. I really don't like cutting creatures because we don't... I'll take this Raven Guild initiate out, I guess. 12 creatures is low, but... Also, King Crab. This is a King Crab matchup for sure, my dude. I said John Stewart of of Valor of Valoron, not Alderon. Alderon doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> Need some white mana. Ten is really loose. It's good if we hit one white, right? Yeah, otherwise we die. What would Bobby Butters do? <laughs> Bobby Butters would mull again. <laughs> uh, you can't keep hand one game, game one hand and mull this. I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm like, oh man, we're gonna lose. We got counterspell, my dude. Yeah, but it's not gonna be relevant. Funny, she doesn't look druish. Wow, that's a classic too. Our opponent wished us good luck, but but we didn't actually have good luck. We had bad luck. Oh, look at this. We're so alive right now. I can wait a turn. I'd rather have Wizards of up. Who is Bobby Butters? Is that Mike B's twice removed uncle? No, it's Mike B himself. We were like, hey man, who's Bobby Butters? And he's like, that's me. Oh no. Oh no. This guy's got to go. Oh no. Oh no. This guy has got to go. Oh no. Look, we're already, we're, we have more life than we did when we started the game right now. That's also, true. this is a this is a three five life linker. That was a weird noise. That was my stomach. It sounded like it came out of your mouth. That was my stomach. Look exactly like we drew it up, my dude. Jokes on you. What does that crazy thing do? I gotta glare up some duel. You have to tap this, right? Raspberry! There's only one man who dares to give me raspberry. Lone Star! What if they play a second glare of Subduel? Wouldn't that be insane? That'd be weird. Sure. My biggest problem with morphs in the set is I have no idea what they are. Because it's not like it's not like you're playing Onslaught where you're like, oh, I can figure out all the morphs from your color combination or what have you. It's a it's a format where you're like, this could be any any set across all of magic. It could be any morph. It could be any morph. Yeah, you're right about the Imeo. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long one. But it's probably just the green one, the Eternal Mystic. Eternal Mystic? What the hell is an Eternal Mystic? A very good card. This is a six eight Vigilance Lifelinker with uh with the totem armor on it. Oh, raise the alarm, huh? That's a good one. This is where like four mana <laughs> spell on this guy. Oh sure. I don't care about any of these things that you're doing. Yeah, because I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not. Now he's just gonna tap our bro. With what? Doesn't he, doesn't he have a tappy bro? Yeah, and then I destroyed it with this oh. card like two turns ago. 
Is that what it was? Oh my god, Michael. It's a bird. It is a bird. I don't think we attack here. They just go block with three six and then like the three one ones and the two two, I guess. Actually, we take a Don't trade their whole board, sure. Alright, I guess I'm actually like once you say it like that, I was like, well, I guess that's a lot of dudes. Oh, did they no, they just flipped this guy into a four one? Yeah, all right. Hmm. I wish we had one more power. That'd be great. So this is going to turn into a 3-5. Yeah, let's get rid of the 3-6. Seems good. Also at 29. Now they have the mana for this guy, which is pretty brutal. Plus 5, plus 5, and Trample is actually insane. Um, Jesus. This card is so bonkers, dude. No blocks. <laughs> no pump. That's actually pretty okay. One. Mike, you in for the 15 hour stream? I'm sure I'll show up. He sure will show up. He's not throwing away his shot. If you know what I mean. No. Dang. Are we just dead to this card? This card is unbelievable. Well, the problem is they just block here and then they pump it. The real problem is we didn't draw King Crab. I agree with you, actually. Can you pump any creature or just himself? Any creature. Oh, Otherwise, we would have blocked. Like... I mean, the problem is, like, if we equip this and attack for five, we can pump, we can isolate one guy, not three. Like, we get in there for twice. We get in there now, we isolate a guy, we get in there again. Like, there's no third turn. It could pump your creatures as well. That's true. That is true. Yeah, this is just a turn my guys sideways kind of day. But this taps them out, which is nice. So then we can temporal isolation this guy. If only temporal isolation uh, stopped their abilities as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can make a four, four. Too, right actually we have morning star so I probably actually do this for one so we go one two three four five and then we have two mana and we can improvise with the morning star does that make a difference one two three four five six not gonna have island walk Four, four more relevant? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? I don't think so, actually. Cast the multi creature will keep up. Uh, we only need to keep up two mana so we can actually crack the clue stone as well. I don't think they're going to cast anything for us to rebuke, but. Probably not. Yeah, they're probably not, actually. But we're also now in a position where we got rid of this guy, we got rid of one of their tokens. So, like, if they alpha here, we can actually block and force a pump. And then they're just, they have nothing on board and they go to two. 
All right. Interesting. Like we can actually block here and force this block. Or force the pump here. And then that's like, that's their entire turn. Sure. So we take seven. And like we're still alive even if they have four, five, six. And now they're just dead to the dragon bird? Oh, <laughs> that's very good. Wow. So now we actually have Rebuke and Sandblast up? Wow, that's really good. It's not bad. Wow, how did we how did we turn this game around? Wild Heart Invoker is not a real card. <clears throat> I mean, they have four cards in hand, so if they ever get to a point where they play two things, whenever this blocks a creature with flying, it gets plus two. Sure. So this is a 4-3, so we can just move the Morningstar into here, and then they just, they're just chumping. Oh, okay. Seems good. Oh my god, this is going to be gas. Woof! <laughs> Got him! Oh, oh, it's your boy. boy! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're just going to win this game. Wow, that was amazing. A coworker of mine just found out he's anemic. According to the internet, most anemic people chew ice. Not kidding, tell Mike. Hey, most anemic people chew ice. Are you anemic? I don't think so. How do you know? How can you tell? I don't know. What is it? What are the signs, the symptoms? Oh, I just closed that window instead of. Oh, that's because you're dumb. Make sure it doesn't just pop up at my credit card info or something. All right. <laughs> it's just the worst feeling. I'm like, oh god, where are you gonna open? Okay, anemia. Let's look it up. It's a condition that develops when your blood lacks enough healthy red blood cells or hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the main part of the red blood cells. It's the main part of the red blood cells and binds oxygen. If you have too few abnormal red blood cells or your hemoglobin is abnormal or low, the cells in your body will not get enough oxygen. Is that why you're tired? Will that make you tired all the time? Fatigue! Oh my god. What if he uh, mics anemic? But I've been chewing ice like since I was born. No, you really haven't You've been chewing it since you were born. Okay, maybe not since I was born, but like I've been doing that for a very long time. That does that's what that does it no re that's doesn't say that doesn't mean you're not anemic you haven't been anemic for a long time. <laughs> that just means it's probably you're probably worse off for it. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Okay, good good call. Good call. Mike was born with teeth confirmed. <laughs> Since I was born, I was chewing ice. You didn't have any friggin' teeth then, man. What's on a Pika? What is that, Pikachu? <clears throat> a psychological disorder characterized by an appetite for substances that are largely non-nutritive, uh, such as ice, hair, paper, <laughs> drywall or paint, metal, stones or soil, glass, feces, and chalk. <laughs> How many of those you eat, man? Just the ice one. You're not a big feces fan? No. What about glass? You ever get a lot of glass? No, not lately. Ice is like glass that's made out of, not made out of water. Oh god, please play Steward of Valoran. Please. I just wanna I just wanna nug their night. Hashtag nug the night. What you know about nugging that night? Remember how good that all the lifelink was on this? We gained like fifteen thousand life last game. Fifteen thousand? It was a lot. Wow. Wow. There you go. For those guys begging for the memes. I hope they have a lot of knights in their deck. I have to have like three knights. That's a beast. I got the beast in my knights. See what I did there? No. You saw. Did I? I wonder if this is worth an attack. I think it is. They were like, no, nah, I'm good. 
Okay. No, I good. That's a spider. Oh, they didn't attack? Hmm. Alright. Okay. If only they would have played their knight. I'm actually going to play this because we have no other use for the mana. So I just want to make sure we get... I just want them to play that knight so bad, dude. It was all worth it. Because I killed their knight. Yeah. Rapunzel syndrome is when you have Pika and eat hair and the hair builds up so that it goes up your throat. Is that a real thing? Rush. I literally can't tell if you just made that up or if that's literally a disease with a clever name. Knightly Valor. That's a yikes for me, dog. Does that make the creature a knight? Oh god, I wish it did. But they do have a knight now, so that's pretty gas. Um, we can two for two ourselves here. Three, four. Like, we can Echo and Calm destroy this. But they have, like, Glare of Subduel in their deck. I don't even feel like that's worth it. I thought it's two for... We could, I'd rather just trade both of these idiots. These guys aren't doing the same favors. Mike, please shake your face again and say, We send no like the Naboo. Well, I said it. That's all you're going to get. <laughs> we can just make a 3 3 2, which is better than all their guys. So that's probably what we're going to do, actually. Multi kicker, pay it once. That's going to cost five. Sure. 3 3. Was it Jar Jar Binks who said that, or was it the, like, the overlord Jar Jar Binks. I know nothing about that movie. Except for it's bad. Okay, Savage Top seems good. Uh, we're all very proud of you. This guy's got so many romp and stomp and dinosaurs. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Here he is. The king. Of the Crabarino. <sighs> that should do it. That should do it. Unless they have the enchantment that removes the abilities of this guy. Oh, but then we have Echoing Calm. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Keep it down. I'm trying to king crab <laughs> over here, buddy. 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 Oh, they can draw cards if they just can't play their green guys. They'll just be like, they're green goes. See what you did there. What are they getting back? They get an aura back? Sure, you get your Night of Valor back. That's fine. Wait, what did they get back? Secession bonds? Oh, this searches for one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's actually going to be an utter blowout because we're going to be able to... Um, Oh, and you can bounce a creature. Yeah, this is this is gonna be nuts. I think we're just gonna play knight here and kill their knight. So they're gonna go bonds on this guy, and then they're gonna attack, and then we're just gonna kill the bonds and block. There's this is like uh, no, I'm not gonna prevent that. This is just a blue. This is just a blue card that shouldn't exist. It's like, hey, do you want to kill other knights? Yeah, okay, that's weird. Thank you. Yikes. Oh, no, I misclicked. I was supposed to... Dang it, I meant to activate it before. Nah, JK. The king has slayed his champion. <laughs> There's only two mana to effect? Yeah, that? dude. I thought it was three. <laughs> My car's broken, man. Man, King Crab OP. So now they get to draw their 1-3? That's pretty good. Go ahead, play it. I dare you. I dare you to play your 1-3. They're like, no, I can't. If I play it, I didn't get Woo, King Crab, my dude. King Crab is OP. I don't know why I ever thought otherwise. What were you thinking? You don't want to take or play that King Crab? Man, what a sucker I was. God. Oh, well, I feel like we've learned something here today. We have. Now, you have King to eat Krabs. this. No, I'm not going to eat You have to the eat thing. the pillow pack. I'm not going to eat the thing that says, do not eat on it. It also says harmless. So, what are you going to believe, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Butter Bobby Butters. <laughs> Is that from something? No. You literally <laughs> just made up Bobby Butters? Yeah. I'm a resourceful guy. 
King Crab Spike incoming. That's egg on Mike's face. Crab, rather. Wait, which which word does crab replace? Crab on Mike's face? Egg on Mike's crab? Egg on crab's face? Which word does cat replace? Which word does cat replace? I gotta go pick up my graded comics tomorrow. Well, good for you. It's gonna. It's like an hour drive both ways. Oh, this hand is not. Should I keep this? No. What if we hit all lands? Finally, some uh, something of reason happened. Yeah, you're gonna go to the bottom. I don't need a five drop yet. Why not? You got four lands. I have some place local that grade. Uh, both of the both of the local places grade. Both of the places that grade comics. CGT is about forty five minutes away in Sarasota, and uh, CBCS is twenty minutes away. They're in Clearwater now. They were also in South St. Pete, which is about a half an hour from me, but they moved to Texas, but they still have a location in Clearwater, uh, which is actually closer because it's just an office um, that I can just drop books off if I ever want to get them graded. Wow, Sensei's top and limited. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Honey's Joker with Riso. I haven't been on work. has been pushing up to 70, 80 hours. Whew. Good Lord, my dude. That is nuts. What comics did I get graded? Oh my God, it's a long list. It is a long list. Oh, that was a good draw. You know what blocks the three one? N04. That's correct. I know. Bobers and Scrobers. It's Michael B. We have a good time. Do we? You tell me, Bobby Butters. Bobby Butters. Yeah, the, the, the 04 does have Exalted. Yeah, it does. Otherwise, it'd be garbage. It would be hot trash. What level of Exalted does it have? What do you mean, what level? 12? Level 12 Exalted? Okay. So, I got apparently... Oh, 20? I got 30 books graded. So I'm, getting, I'm picking up 30 slab books tomorrow, and it's going to be real heavy. You know how many 30 slab? You know how 30 slab comic books weighs? For at least 30 slabs. That's, that's 30 slabs worth of weight. He's right. Google, how much does a slab weigh? What is this you're doing? Can't be blocked? Sure. Oh no. I mean, this is an O-ringable, it's a two for one. It That's a two for. Any love for the Saga? I mean, I like Saga as a series. I haven't read all of it, but um, I don't really collect the comics for Saga. I only, I pretty much only buy issues that I want to collect. Not, I read comics online mostly. heard of Saga before. I've heard of Saga before. Wow. Was the Just Got Me your match? Alright, let's attack. Just kidding. The problem with sandblasting this guy is they do get another scry, but Oblivion Ring is just way more versatile than, than Sandblast. Guess we could O-ring their top. Help me, help me live. What does that mean? Are you just, are you just? Well, yeah, because it's rent, so I get to live. I get to live in my house. What? What did you say to me? Huh? I don't like you anymore. 
You're a real Bobby Butters, you know that? Oh, I was saying we could O-ring their top. No, then they just tap it and draw... Oh, God. Well. The power just flickered, so I'm sure the internet is... Uh, yep. If we O-ring the top, they just tap it to draw a card. So I'm also just, mainly joking. Now we just have to wait until uh, until the internet comes back up. Always a pleasure. And Nothing yet. <laughs> Still waiting. Oh, all right. Well, I was expecting that, so. Are we back, though? I can't tell if we're still up again, if it's worth even logging in here. Does not look like the internet is back up. So I guess we're just going to sit here and wait. Kind of obnoxious. I wish they had a pause feature so I could at least pause the recording, but we're just going to sit here and not have that happen. Oh, boy. Wow, the power flickers one time and your internet goes out for like 10 minutes. 10 whole minutes? However long this has been. Happened at 1500, I would say. So now it's 15.03, so three minutes. It's still a long time. I feel like we should get our technology in a situation, in a position where, like, it doesn't take this long to recover. So, you come here often, man? No. Okay. What about Bobby Butters? You're all three ago. <laughs> all the time. Okay. Good to know. Are you going to leave this all in the recording? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to edit this out. This seems silly. Okay. Unless it takes like 10 minutes, in which case, then I'll just cut it out. Cut it out. Like Dave Coulier. And yeah, we could have done a bit here. A bit? Yeah. What kind of bit? We're like, the power goes off, and I'm like, all right, man, I'm out of here. I, I can't be here while we don't need to be recording. Like, we're not actually friends, and... <laughs> Oh, see, that was, yeah, see, they, you buried the lead there. I was like, but why, why would, oh, I think we're up. I think we're good. Hold on, let's see it. Well, I think we're, do oh, I think we're doing it. Okay, well, hopefully you guys didn't mind that four-minute delay. You okay? You got a little hair in your mouth? Yeah. Here, you can wipe it out with this. No. Come on, man. Just put it in your mouth. All right, they play tap all creatures, target player controls. This card is also bonkers. All of these, like, Rise of Innistrad, Rise of uh, Rise of the Eldrazi, like, creatures that have eight-man abilities, all the eight-man abilities are utterly insane. If this was an arena match, I would have just lost because I would have just skipped my turn 10 times. Whereas since it's Magic Online, I only actually have a one minute less than my opponent, which is pretty nice. Well, we have two six drops and a three drop. I'm actually tempted to just get rid of this guy. Card is very strong. What if they never get to eight mana? Well, I mean, it's still a two one flyer, so. It's also a two one flyer? What did you think was an enchantment? I thought it was just a two one Duder. I yeah, it's a two-one flyer with that taps That's all ridiculous. creatures, target player controls, and it's a wizard. That's true. The on-screen chat froze. I don't know. How, uh, I can probably fix that. I'm good at fixing stuff. Okay, that should do it. How about? I guess that's good. No one knows what it's like. I mean, oh, they, wow, they really need that second card. Okay. Sure. 
three three flyer for five. You got it. And you get to draw top next turn. Oh, an Aqua Merba. Fashionably late to the party. Thank you. Alternate timeline. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Mike has rat anemia. Hmm. Bobby Butters. Hey, man. Yeah, man. You want to get some flatbreads tonight? I, I'm always down for flatbreads and some cauliflower buffalo boys. Them cauliflower buffalo boys are at it again. You know the ones. Wow, they're just going to keep using their top every turn? Oh, no, I thought they were going to put it on top. They might, actually, if they get a two-mana card, and they're just like, I'll put it on top, play the two-mana card. Oh. Oof, that's rude. No, that seems like Aqua Uh Fodder. I feel like we're a little behind this game. Did the rats collect all the vitamins from Mike's body as part of the rat dead? <laughs> it's possible. Um, do we play Aquamoeba or just time stop? I think we're going to Aquamoeba here. I don't think we need to be time stopping just yet. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Oof. Wow, that was... <sighs> Save some cauliflower buffalo boys from... <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Actually, those are that's like my favorite. I could just eat those. I'll just get a second. I'll just get a second one of those, and I'll just have that for my dinner. Wow, dude, they're so good. Do we have any wizards? This is not a crab wizard. It feels like this guy'd be a crab wizard, right? He's, Why would you think that? Because he's putting cards on top of the deck, right? Like, that's that's wizardly. He's putting cards on top of the deck. Exactly. Don't be a land. That's actually good. They don't have a green, so they actually can't even give their dude Shroud. Hmm. Fascinating. God, time stop is so strong. <laughs> he was a cauliflower buffalo boy yeah i was trying i was like i can can we do that and then i'll start to see it felt too long he said dip in blue cheese boy i don't know i don't know how that would go god if they tap out for something huge we just go like time stop yeah Time stop. The six mana counter spell. I mean, it does the job. Mike confirmed vampire. Mike being a vampire checks out. He's clearly immortal. Otherwise, we would see him aging into dust with all those birthdays. <laughs> That's true. And he sleeps during the day. Wow. This is actually... Uh, I work at night. He does work. He works at night, quote unquote. Gains flying until end of turn, gains first strike until end of turn, sure. Wasn't there a serial killer named Cauliflower Buffalo Bob? Wow. Yeah, that guy put the lotion on the skin again. Or else he got the hose again. Whatever that means. If they attack with both of these guys and we just go time stop, I, are they dead? Because they don't get to play a blocker. I, mean, I guess I'll just take... Oh, they didn't attack. Fascinating. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I always get excited about counter spells even when I'm like... Even when they're not that great. This is only 5 power and this is a 5-6, so... Fun story, the lotion was blue cheese. Is that a fun story? Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, a double block. All right, well, I'm fascinated. Did they forget about the Exalted, or do they just have a trick here? They have a trick here. Hmm. Good time stop. Yeah, that's true. I really don't want this guy to be indestructible and kill our crabby boy. It's basically just a counter. It's not great, but they, they don't get their clue either. Do they have a counter spell for this? Destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Wow, and we, if, oh wow. That's pretty insane. Yep, probably can't win the game now. Four, five, six, seven. Yep, this is, uh, that was insane. Wow, if we could time stop when they played this instead. God, they just had to have, like, four for this and three for the uh, survive the night. That's insane. So what, they take three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, cool. Wow, that's insane. Well, it's apparently a theme where we lose to stupid pump for eight mana cards. Do they have any enchantments? Not no, really, right? So. They had no real blue creatures. I used to survive that. It's decent. Do they have any knights? Did we see any knights? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Jenny, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. And by Jenny, I mean Alana. That's, I always want to... Oh, it's so weird because I want to read your Twitch name and then call you that. But that's not your name, so I don't know what to call you. Um, are you sure we saw no knights? I'm sure. Are you sure that Don Glenvarker wasn't a knight wizard? I'm sure. A wizard, if you will? Oh, hi, it me. <laughs> it's true. All right. All right. I don't know what to take out, though. What do we take out for this... Guardians is actually pretty decent there. Okay, as long as you're okay with it. I don't want to miss I don't want to miss call people their by their their not names. I guess you wouldn't I guess you wouldn't mind though, otherwise you wouldn't have made your your Twitch handle that, you know what I mean? I'll take out the bird bouncer. Wait, it's a return of bird you control. Okay. If I could bounce their bird with that, that'd be sick. Do you really respond to Jenny at MTG events? That is weird. Although you did make your Twitch name Jenny, so that's hilarious, though. I mean, if you make your name another name on Twitch, people are gonna. Yeah, that's just like that's just how it goes. Like if Mike started calling himself Bobby Butters on Twitch, then people would just be like, "Hey, Bobby Butters, what's going on?" That's actually pretty funny. I could see I could see you doing that. It's like a new meme now. I'm gonna have to respond to Bobby Butters. <laughs> oh my god! Can we make that a meme? Thank you, Mom Prada. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're Jenny from Twitch, and you're like, yeah, I, I guess I am. Thank you. Magic Marker Studios, thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. I couldn't find any fun, my fun emotes and didn't know why. Nice. They, they always play this kind. They always have the, the X4. That's our life. I can't believe it's not Bobby Butter. Uh, did you guys hear that today is Bobby Butter's birthday? No. Today is Mike's birthday. It's not Bobby Butter's birthday. Happy birthday, Bobby Butter. <laughs> no, Bobby Butter's is not... No. How meta is it if the meme gets its own meme? Wow, again with this guy? But why not Gary Garlic? <laughs> <laughs> Are these our radio host names? Hey, you're listening to 107.5 with Gary Garlic and Bobby Butters. <laughs> WWE tag team. Tom Tomato. Tom Tomato sounds too similar though, right? Like the first two names sound almost identical. Like It sounds like Tom Tom. Ado. Tom Tomato. Tom Tomato. Tom Tomato. Terry Toast. 
Wait, so we got a special birthday boy in the chat? Yeah, it's Mike. It's Mike B's birthday. Mike B Butter. Mike Bobby Butters. No. It is not Bobby Butter's birthday. We is this why you one. created this uh <laughs> yeah. this alter ego? You're like, well. Oh, Dwayne Dorito is nice. It would suck to be named after Doritos though, right? Oh, it's supposed to butters? Yeah, but butter's like a an all around food, you know, it goes on everything. You think butter goes on everything? <laughs> I had some ice cream. I just put some butter on it. What about butterscotch ice cream, huh? What about it? That's got butter in it. Does it? I'm sure it does. Does it? Don't actually know. Oh, God. If they have the kicker spell, they just destroy this and kill this guy? Oh, God. It's such a blowout. Okay. That's fine. I'll just redraw. Yeah, that I don't mind. Oh, that was so much better. Wow, that would have been brutal. Destroy Morningstar. Root to hell. Kill our Aquamiba. Oh, the old 1-5 flyer. This guy's actually surprisingly obnoxious. We have a ton of removal, but nonetheless. Still annoying. Larry Lasagna. I'm going to put it on this guy this time. So now we can at least get him for six here. I don't foresee them blocking. Wow, Kelly Ketchup. That just <laughs> I feel like this is we have the makings of a kid's television show with a bunch of food-themed characters. Oh, my God. If you have a kids themed TV show where all the characters are named after foods, which is which is the name of the bully? What's the bully's name? Oh, they just switcherooed my guy. How nice. <laughs> yep, that'll do. That will do. Percival Pizza, Peppery Pete. I mean, this would have been lethal, so we could block here, deal them one, they go to six, survive, doesn't Mike do Mustard, anything. Billy Bacon. I guess we could have re-equipped this, right? Ricky Relish. Attack them for three, block. Attack them for four. Actually, we might have had this game. Beatrice Bologna. Wow. Wow, this is what I'm inter this was interesting. I think I conceded way too soon here. Not way too soon, but like So the thing is like if we, we I forgot we could equip this, right? So we could have actually moved this here. Can I just, can I still do it? <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to move this on here. So we have a 3/7, right? And then we attack for 3, put them to 4. And if they don't have an answer for this, we can actually just kill them with survive. Yeah. I feel bad now. What can you do? It's my own fault. Harry horseradish. Mistakes are made. Oh my god, I hate when it just sits there in the thing for like two minutes. And I'm like, please drop. It's so stressful. Perfect. Oh, okay. Make the book up now. <laughs> so, for those wondering what happened, uh, there is a Russian Soren's Vengeance sitting here. And that was Mike's attempt at reading Cyrillic characters. I think I did good. I think you did really good, man. I'm really proud of you. <clears throat> God, I can't believe we almost could have won that last game if I just kept playing. I just got I got killed to, tilted by their. their uh, They're so true. I. What? They're so true. 
Yeah, they're switcheroo tilting me. We should get a bot that says that's what she said in the chat every five minutes. I could actually just have MTG bot do that, I think. When do we hit 65? Well, so uh, another 20 subs are donated today. Most of my subs are from donations, apparently. So I have like six people in the chat who are basically supporting me uh, entirely. So. Why did you not come to my 30th birthday? Oh, because you, you, you uninvited me. That's why. It was a whole mess. That's why. Because, you know. Oh, we're just going to play this guy. Because I felt like there was a lot of tension in our friendship and uh, I just, I didn't, I didn't know how to address it. Big yikes. <laughs> good times. We have a good time. Mike, you did great. You did great. Uh, his name is Bobby Butters. Where does that's a yikes for me dog come from? Internet. Yeah, but who specifically? Is it... What's his name? What's this guy's name? Well, that's... Uh, Buffalo Billy. It's not. <laughs> it's not Buffalo Billy. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. How do you exist? One no support bug... <laughs> Well, that's not fair, because that is support. If anyone wants to donate me, what what happens? What that doesn't even, that's not even a sentence, Jenny. That's not even a sentence. It was Randy. It was Randy. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name. It's not Buffalo Billy. It's Randy. Everyone knows it's Randy. That was what we were hoping to hit. Randy. Isn't that from Family Guy? Probably. It's 100% Randy. I'm going to hear it now. Well, we have to hear it. You ready? Shut up and take my money. What happened? One support buck. Wow, support buck's coming coming in hot. All right, I guess you get to kill my guy. Did he reveal a dragon? <laughs> Amateurs. I just want a free sub. <laughs> it didn't have to be a sentence. I just want a free sub. I don't need, a, I don't need your... Thank you. Oh, with the with the gift is oh Jenny, you went here. I got you. I got you. Oh my God, Morgan, you are the hero we need. We can only do like we can keep this up, or we can think twice and try to hit a land, or we can play this and this. I think we're just doing this and this because it's basically the same as hitting a land, and there's no guarantee that we're hitting a land. Plus, this is a 3-2 floaty boy. Can I marry? <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, you have the stream's permission, that's for sure. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best stream day ever. Uh, I don't think I want to block this because they have like six mana up, so. Well, you never know what it could be. It could be an Emrakul. It could be an Emrakul. It could be anything, even a even a boat. What is this thing? A 3-3. Three, three. It can't be blocked. If it was kicked, it's just a 3-3 three, three that can't be blocked. All right, sure. Does it have shroud or anything? I can just no. get rid of it? Yep. I can tap this to help cast Metallic Rebuke. You could. You know. It's pretty good, right? How come this isn't a UN Pirate Wizard? How come nothing is Wizards anymore? I don't know, man. I seen a wizard the other day. <laughs> Where'd you see him? Walmart. Oh, the old Walmart wizard. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Oh my god, DMV for three hours sounds actual terrible. I would probably, I would probably just leave my car there and just, I'll be like, well, I'm, I guess I'm not driving anymore. I guess we can just keep up counterspell and then think twice later. Should I block here? Yeah, do it. Should I? No. Just take five? 
Oh, I got this Cassius. So I <laughs> go on. I saw a video last night. I'm listening. They're making mac and cheese. Okay. They used only Parmesan. No. Purely. No. It looked delicious. What? They used like real Parmesan cheese though. Yeah, but that, still, yeah. like that's a lot. That's like a really. It was like five ounces of Parmesan cheese, and I was like, oh yeah. That's a lot, dude. Just the right amount for me. It's not. Oh, cool! It's your King Crowls. Oh, we didn't hit a land, though. God, I really just want to hit a land. Is that too much to ask for? They have four cards. They didn't play anything. Come on, I'm a little suspicious here. Um, I want mac and cheese. Don't we all? Wanting mac and cheese is my default mode. I want to play something, but I don't have a land, so I can't. I could play this or this, but I don't think those are exciting. I'm pretty sure we just block here. But this makes the clock so good. Oh, they're just going to do some nonsense? That doesn't untap? Do we have a way to untap it? Nope. God, if we had a way to untap it, we could put Mammoth Umber on it. That'd be such gas. Just counter it, bro. I don't think I care about countering it, though. That's our only threat. Right, but, like... <sighs> Punish for not mammoth umbering is true, man. You are not wrong. Yeah, all right, we're gonna wizard, we're gonna wizards retort it, and then we're just gonna mammoth umber it next turn if they... I'm also gonna block here, because if you want to flip this guy, it makes it easier to oblivion ring it. Plus, it might take your turn. Oh, they just did nothing. Wow, we just been taking damage. What a bunch of, what a bunch of charlatans. Oh, that dude's got to. That guy. That guy's got to go. Yep. Wish we could improvise that. Oh, we also have King Crab to just like put these guys on top. Yeah, that's pretty good. King Crab has once again saved the day. But will he be quick enough? I don't know. That's the question I'm asking myself. I think the answer is yes. So four, five, six, seven. If they play anything for six or more, we got it. Wow, again with this guy, huh? All right. We'll go to seven. Or if they play two spells, we can counter one of them, which is nice. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Really? Come on. Come on. Just stop. Why didn't you counter that? Because... Oh! <laughs> God dang it! I thought Rebuke was two mana. I thought it was a two mana, not three mana. Wow. I thought I was I thought it was a different card. I thought it was the two mana spell. I thought it was what, quench? I thought it was um like miscalculate. miscalculate. Yeah. Wow, I definitely didn't think it was a mana lake. What an absolute dummy. Well now I don't think we can win this game. Oh my god. Can you believe it? The answer is no. Do you believe in magic? <sighs> block, block, block. I mean, if they have nothing, we we're we're okay. Oh my god, it's three. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. Put two cards in the graveyard. They put, they did put two in the graveyard. Scrounging Bandar. What's even happen? Is this if this guy is? I think you have to block. If this is like a trick flyer or something. If they had, like, why would you be attacking for this a million turns ago? If this is like a trick flyer though. I really, I want to go to one here. 
No, it doesn't seem ideal. However, we don't have a flying blocker is the problem. I think we actually do have to go to one here. No, because then this guy kills us, right? Then they just kill us anyway next turn. Well, no, if we block the fire this turn. Then we go to four, and then they kill us next oh, turn. Oh, yeah, okay. So it doesn't matter either way. So you might as well leave it? I guess? Actually, well, hold on. If they don't play anything, though... No, we're going to block here, because if... Like, we can put Mammoth Umber on this guy if they don't have a creature. <coughs> they always have a creature. Wow! <sighs> this, I, this cost us a game. Wow, that's unbelievable, dude. I feel like we've thrown away so many games in this draft, and it's really problematic. Grizzly Fate is unbelievable. Yeah, that's a good one. And they get to flash it back next turn. Yeah, all right. Well, that'll do. Definitely bringing in Rune of Protection Blue here. Yeah, their deck looks pretty sweet. Strain Enchantment. They did have Leaden Fists. Do they have anything Thank else? You. Dirty Rotten Scullywag. Thank you so much for the resub. Well, or the gifted sub, rather. Oh, Jenny, Jenny's gifting subs now. Thank you so much, buddy. Good times. Do they have any knights? Did you notice any knights? No. Okay, well, I just... I hate knights and I hate you. Okay, you don't have to be like that. Sorry. No, I'm not. Why are you like this? Um... Ayo, you did help. You did. I want to hear... I just want to hear Randy Jackson... Say it's a yikes for me. Put your hands together for Randy Jackson. All right, so yo, dog, there's, there's some good stuff and some bad stuff here. All right, here we, here we go. So you started and it was a little weird for me, but dude, you know what? Yeah, I like this. Baby, a way to start it off, man. Yo, Thank you. Yo, like, yo, man, what's that? What's cool? Bomb tonight. We'll tell you what to do. Once you got started, man, ba -da -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba. nothing. Dang it! Come on, Randy Jackson. What is that guy famous for? Was he like a sports guy? I don't know who Randy Jackson was before American Idol. Uh, playing bass guitar for an array of jazz, pop, rock, and R&B performers, he moved on to work in music production as an A&R and and an A&R at and as. A and R at Columbia Records and AMC Records. Jackson is best known for his appearance as a judge in American Idol and the executive producer for MTC's America's Best Dance Crew. Jackson has won a Grammy Award as a producer. Okay. He's a music guy. Got it. I was a music guy once. Good talk. I said good talk. I said bad talk. No, you didn't. You didn't even say that. I just did. Let me hear it. Say it again. Bad talk. Okay, that time I heard it. Oh my god, I can't believe that stupid metallic rebuke play. Why are you so sharp? How do you mean? Do you mean intelligence-wise? Because that's not true. Wow, they just mental noted themselves? Did you just move the mic with your nose? No. What, are you like a dog? Maybe. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. The miscalculation of mana leak. That's like the actual perfect term for it. It was definitely literal miscalculation. Like the card of mana leak. Oh, this guy's going to be plundering. You got the sniffles? Yeah. <clears throat> You getting sick? I hope not. Okay. But maybe one day. No. Never. Oh, good. That guy's got a little reachy boy. Actually, I could just bounce that dude and attack for a bunch. That seems good. Could discard think twice, but I don't feel like that's really where we want to be. I'm surprised there's no video of that. That's of him saying that's a no for me, dog. 
Does does he? He just says that's a no for me, but he doesn't. Does he say that's a yikes for me? No, I don't think he's ever. Is that, that just like the uh, the variation that people have made? Yes. That's a three four fly. That's a four three flyer for me, dog. Yeah, we'll just stack with this guy. Think twice is a great magic card. It lets you do things at your own at your own uh, at your own convenience. Discard two cards, return from graveyard to the battlefield. Sure, five mana, three four flyer. You got it. That card's actually insane as well. There's a lot of really powerful cards in, in Magic the Gathering <laughs> as a game. There's a lot of really powerful cards in Magic the Gathering. Are you done? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Good to hear it. I'm just going to pass here. Actually, I'm probably going to move this over to, let's say, this guy. Did I? I didn't think I talked about the sub goal. Uh, the enters battle for the two one one counter, so it's a three three. Remove a counter, put a one one counter on target creature. Sure. Well, that's sad because now they can just move counters onto like this guy. I'm able to move counters onto this guy. Who knows? Like, is it even worth getting rid of this guy? Ugh, they just bring it back. But then they're going to move a counter over, so I guess it's probably fine. All right, now you have to do something. Kill it. It's better mana usage, and we're not going to really attack with either. Don't think twice. Well, people always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around killing advanced stitch wings. Hmm. Interesting. We knew that guy was there. Okay. Well, that's a nice long game plan. Oh, we're just taking four, huh? 100 bits for more singing. <laughs> oh, Jenny, you should, uh... This is a this is a stream that there is the singing is plentiful. I guess we just play Lightwalker here. I don't see us needing this just yet. And keep up think twice because I really want to be able to think twice. You gonna counter this? That'd be gas. Oh, you're just gonna bring that guy back. Sure. We discarded two forests. Yeah, you got it. Now we're gonna play this because I don't really want to. 
What if we accidentally cycled it? So what does that card do? Shut this? Up and take my money. Just circle the protection blue. Okay. Next time a blue sorcerer tries to deal damage to this turn, prevent it. Except it costs white to activate. One, sing some queen buck. Alexa just responded, and I don't know why. Alexa, stop. She was like, fine. Okay, well, play this. Oh, God, being able to just move this, make this got 5-5 five, five is really strong. You can just prevent all his damage. The next time a source to deal damage to you this turn. But I want to be able to deal damage, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No. No. Okay. Good talk. Okay. No. Well, when will you be okay? Look at all these blue creatures that they're playing. Is it me or is there an outside reflection of the turn counter? Oh yeah. I mean that's that's the light coming through the That's the light coming through the the green screen. What can you do? Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. I want some mac and parm bits? Oh my god. No, look what you did. That's it's too delicious. much parm, man. It's too much parm. Have you tried it? No, because I feel like it would be just an oversaturation of that, like, that salty, like, I don't know. But you just don't add salt to it. But parm has, it's a naturally salty flavor, my dude. Right, that's why you don't add any salt. It doesn't remove the, like, the natural salt that's already in the parm, though. Look, they made it on YouTube. It looked delicious. Look, I'm gonna make look, it. they already. Did. You're gonna make it. No, you're not. Yeah, well, no, you'll It's learn. actually really easy to make. All you need is butter, pepper, Parmesan cheese, and noodles. Oh, and milk. It sounds like you're literally just making like Alfredo sauce, without the like the eggs. Kinda. Okay. What's chat stance on ketchup with mac and cheese? That's oh, a God. Why? That's a yikes for me, dog. That is a yikes from me. You don't add salt to regular mac and cheese? Why? Why not? Salt's delicious. It enhances the flavors. Alright, yeah, there is no egg in Alfredo, actually. That's carbonara you're thinking of. Uh, if you're talking about, like, craft macaroni and cheese, you don't add salt. But, like, if you're making macaroni and cheese from scratch, you definitely add salt. How does our opponent get, get, up, get past this? Oh, actually, that's... Oh god, two three fours is rough. With this guy having one counter on it because they just literally have two three fours. Two two four fives rather. Yikes. And we can move this over here and then it's a three five, which means if you block with any of the big guys, we could switch it. Which might be worth it. Oh, they're going to pay costs. Uh, sure. Man. <laughs> All right. Well, he did. I mean, there's a better way to do that. They probably could have actually double blocked it. And then when I go to flip it, you kill it. But. So that was nice. Are you. Oh, God, this card. Oh look, you have exactly seven in the graveyard. Am I down for your thirty first? I bet we can I bet we can work something out. I mean I feel like it's a ways away. Oh, that was a good draw. Surprisingly good draw. So this guy becomes a 5-4, so they double block. We kill the Watcher. Hmm. 
What about mac and cream cheese? What is going on in this chat right now? I've created a monster. You did. You literally created a monster. What if you make that same mac and cheese, but instead of five ounces of Parmesan, you use two and a half ounces of Parmesan and two and a half ounces of cheddar? I don't know if those two flavors would complement each other, though. Psh. Psh like, you're just making up recipes right now. Yeah. And if you want to try it, if you want to get in the kitchen and try these recipes out. Dude, it's Parmesan cheese. I'm always going to like it. I'm not a, a viable source of judging it. Even if it's bad? It's not going to be bad. You don't know that, though. Yeah, I do. Do you? Because Papa loves his Parmesan. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. Ameson, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Considerably middle-of-the-road pocket-sized windmill. <laughs> That's a... Uh, it sounds medium fan to me. God, I feel like we're so far behind now because of these stupid bears. And they can just recast it for four more bears and they just have eight tutus on board. <laughs> 100 Bobby, Bobby Butters birthday balloons biddies. That is far too many bees. Well, it's a lot of bears, my dude. That is a lot of bears. I'm uncomfortable with it. Can you bear leave it? Uh, you can actually save your dude with one plane. That is not how this card works. Can you what? I said, can you bear leave it? It's unbearable. You're unbearable. Wow. I mean, I'm just going to play this guy because, good lord. Echoing truth would be gas. Echoing truth would be gas. I'll just tap a bear down. Good lord. Afco, what's going on, buddy? Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Long time no see, my dude. What did they just do? Oh, they just got their guy back. No, they didn't. What did they do? They cycled beneath the sands, sure. What if instead of parm you used considerably hot oil and instead of noodle you used chicken and it's Sunday? <laughs> wow. Well, that sounds like a different meal, but maybe it's not. I finally, oh my God, dude. What have you been up to, man? How have you been? Oh my God. I haven't seen Africa in ages. Oh, yep. Yeah. How come I just can't counter cards with Discovery? I mean, with Rune of Protection. <laughs> so I was like, how come I can't just counter their discovery? Counter blue cards? Yeah, why can't I just counter their spell with Rune of Protection? Why is this hair going? Yep, here we go. It's the one we were waiting for. This guy too, huh? Uh, why not? Yeah, they're leaving black the flyers. Well, I could just Rune of Protection. Oh, yeah. No, don't activate that. I will block... Parmesan prayers for playable pieces. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, poor poor playable pieces? What does that even mean? Yep, we're just going to block all the things. Is that some Espanol? One of the words is. <laughs> it's okay, we only took eight damage that turn. No big deal. Yep. We've been attacked by ravenous bears. I wish they had more... Oh, I wish they had more blue creatures than green creatures. Yep, alright. Well, this, this draft did not go as well as expected. But, um... We did punt a lot. We did punt a lot, to be fair. So, you know. I take, I take responsibility. Oh, man. He would have been so beefy if he was, like, two turns earlier. Oh, that would have been so good, dude. I don't know. That's a lot of bears. Yeah, but you can block one, bounce one. So it's like two a turn. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the YouTube video. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Do not go to MeUndies.com slash Bobby Butters, though, because that's not a real thing. And you'll get Yet. 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out. It helps the stream. It helps you guys. It helps me. Everybody wins. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.